All right, guys, so it's time to start setting up our actual website. Now, I'm going to be using the LAMP stack, and LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. It's really popular, and since we already have Linux installed, remember, whenever we first set up the server, Ubuntu, which is a flavor of Linux, it came installed by default. The only thing we need to install is Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Now, if you're wondering, what the heck is Apache? Apache is a web server. So right now our server that we're looking at right here is just a computer and the only thing that we can do to it is connect to it and disconnect to it. Not all that exciting. So what Apache is, like I said, it's a web server. It's going to turn the server, give it the ability to serve web files. And right now if we go to our IP address, actually if we just click go to, check it out. This is what happens whenever we try to connect to the server right now. The web page is not available, connection refused. Um, I'm just like a regular old plain computer, so I don't know if you're trying to look at a website, but I don't have those capabilities yet. So let's change that right now. Now, what we're going to be using is a tool called APT, and this is a package manager that's already built into Linux. It's essentially a way that we can really, really easily install things on our server that's all it is so anytime we ever want to install anything we have to use a sudo command since it's a root privilege and apt get means I want to install something and you usually just type something like install like PHP or whatever but before we do any of that I actually just want to update this tool so we're gonna update it hit enter and hit your password and it's gonna say okay get the most you know the latest version of this tool so now apt is updated. Actually, let me just clear this. So we can run sudo apt git install apache2. Now hit enter. It's going to go ahead and download it from wherever it is. Install it on the server. Make sure you hit Y. And it's going to configure everything. Again, this tool is incredibly awesome. It pretty much does everything for you. So it said, OK, everything was good. Let me just clear this out and check it out. So now whenever a user connects to our site we can serve them web files. So that's great and all but unless we just want to be serving them regular old boring HTML you know we probably should set up MySQL and PHP so we can make some you know cool interactive websites. So before you install PHP it's always a good idea to install MySQL so you got the back end with. So sudo apt get this is just a tool install MySQL minus server. Now if you just run this it's going to work but you also want to install another called a PHP 5 minus MySQL. So this is your plain old MySQL that you can use for any language and this additional one right here is helpful later on whenever you try to integrate MySQL with PHP. So we might as well just do it all in one shebang. Hit enter. Do you want to continue? Yes. And this is just saying, okay, whenever I install this, it's going to take up this much space on your hard drive. Are you sure you want to use it? Well, yes, we do. And let it do its thing. So now it's just asking us to enter a password for MySQL root user. Whenever we try to administrate MySQL, so type anything that you want. and hit enter. Alright, so after about a minute we now have the MySQL server installed on our main server. Now what we have to do after this is if I clean this up, alright, we want to run a command called sudo MySQL, if I could type right, MySQL underscore install underscore DB. So we have the main server set up but now what this command does is it installs and sets up the directory structure, in other words, the location that we're actually going to store all of the databases. So hit enter, and look at that. It took like half a second. Now one last command that we need is just for security purposes. The default installation of MySQL has a lot of common vulnerabilities. So if you run sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation then it says current password root enter it and 
Do you want to change your root password? No, I do not. And for the rest of this, you can just hit enter and keep all of the default settings. Enter, 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 and boom. So we set up the MySQL server. We set up the directory structure where we're going to stick all of our databases. And also, we ran that secure script to remove all of the common vulnerabilities. MySQL is now set up. Apache is now set up. The last thing we have to do is install PHP. It's pretty easy. So I'll see you guys next video.